Discovery can get messy. I'm sure we can all agree that Phylum Arthropoda is full of creepy crawlies, and none are better at crawling than the creatures in subphylum Myriapoda. Myria means many, and poda means feet. These animals really live up to their name. You know who I'm talking about. The centipedes in class Chilopoda, and the millipedes in class Diplopoda. Although centi and milli make it sound like these animals might have a hundred or even a million legs, that's just not the case. So how do we tell centipedes apart from millipedes? Centipedes have one pair of legs per body segment, and their bodies are usually pretty flat. Try not to handle centipedes, though. They have venomous claws at their heads and pincers on their behinds. Millipedes, on the other hand, have rounded bodies and two pairs of legs per body segment. Millipedes can't do anything to hurt you, so feel free to handle them gently. If you handle a millipede, it might coil itself up or start producing an almond smell. That's actually a tiny release of cyanide gas. But don't worry, it's not enough to hurt us, only enough to deter predators. Another difference is that centipedes are carnivores, while millipedes only eat dead plant material. That also means that centipedes usually move a lot faster than millipedes. You know, the more I think about it, getting a group of friends together to dress up as a centipede or a millipede would make a great Halloween costume. I hope I've inspired you to go outside, get messy, and search for some myriapods. Don't forget that you can post any entomology-related questions in the comment section below or on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I'll see you next week.